How's it going, everyone? Austin Honecker here. I just wanted to come on here for a while and give him a review for All Elite Wrestling's AW Dark from last night, which was July 6th, 2021. I gotta say it was awesome from start to finish. For the matches, match one, it was Lance Archer versus Ryan Mantel. That was a great match. But the ending to it, Lance Archer went over with the with the helicoaster. Match two, it was the factory, which are QT Marshall and Aaron Solo versus the Hughes brothers, which are Terrence and Terrell Hughes. That was a great match, but the ending to it, the factory went over because QT Marshall pinned Terrence Hughes with the, di with the diamond cutter. Well, after the match, as QT Marshall, Aaron Solo, and Nick Camarado were celebrating in the ring, and Terrence Hughes, Terrence Hughes was laid out, QT, QT Marshall executed the, the diamond cutter to Terrell Hughes. And laid him out. And QT Marshall, Aaron Solo, and Nick Camarado continued to celebrate and everything. Which that was cool. That was after the match, by the way. Match three. It was Abaddon versus Natalia Markova. That was a great match. But the ending to it, Abaddon went over with the leg hook DDT. Match four, it was Matt Seidel versus Carly Bravo. That was a great that was a great match, but the ending to it, Matt Seidel went over with the lightning spiral. Match five, it was the Blade versus Trey Lamar. That was that was a great match, but the ending to it, the blade went over with a punch in the face with brass knuckles. Match match six, it was Bear Bronson versus Big Trouble Bishop. That was that was a great match, but the ending to it, Bear Bronson went over with the jumping senton. Match seven, it was Marco Stunt and Fuego Del Sol versus Baron Black and Ryzen. That was that was a great match, but the but the ending to it, Marco Stunt and Fuego Del Sol went over because Fuego Del Sol pinned Ryzen with the tornado the Tornado DDT. Well, after the match, Dustin Rhodes, Sammy Guevara, Five, and Griff Garrison came out and celebrated Fuego Del Sol and Mark and Marco Stunts Fuego Del Sol and Marco Stunts victory and everything, which that was cool. Match eight, it was. Chris Statlander versus Viva Vaughn. Th that was a great match, but the ending to it, Chris Statlander went over with the Big Bang Theory. Match nine, it was the Varsity Blondes, which are Brian Pillman Jr. and Griff Garrison versus Chad Lennox and... Zachariah, that was a great match, but the ending to it, the Varsity Blondes went over because Brian Pillman Jr. pinned Chad Lennox with the springboard clothesline. Match 10, it was Angelico versus Prince Kai. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Angelico went over with the the 
Navarro death roll were after the match and Helico was dancing and being cocky and everything outside of the ring and Wheeler Yuta and, Bri and referee Bryce Rimsberg came out and Wheeler U and Helico well and Helico bumped into Wheeler Yuta well Wheeler Yuta and referee Bryce Rim Rimsberg came out and everything and Wheeler Yuta well Wheeler Yuta was outside the ring and referee Bryce Rimsberg was inside the ring and everything which that was cool um match 11 it was Wheeler Yuta versus Ryan Nemeth that was a that was a great match, but the ending to it, Wheeler Yuta went over with a roll-up. Where well, after the match, Ryan Nemeth was pissed off that Wheeler Yuta got the victory, and Peter Avalon, Cesar Bononi, and J.D. Drake came in the ring and tried to attack Wheeler, Wheeler Yuta, but Wheeler Yuta escaped in time and everything, and... And so Ryan Nemeth, Peter Avalon, Cesar Bononi, and J.D. Drake, which are the wingmen, were inside the ring pissed off and everything, while Wheeler Yuta was celebrating his victory and everything, which that was cool. Match, yeah, match, tw yeah, yeah, match 12, it was The Pinnacle, which are Wardlow and Sean Spears versus... Hunter Knott and Rosario Grillo. That was a great match, but the ending to it, the pinnacle went over because Sean Spears pinned Hunter Knott with the C4. Well, after the match, Sean Spears tried to attack Hunter Knott and Rosario Grillo with, with a steel chair, but referee Paul Turner... Stopped him before he got the chance, and so Wardlow and Sean Spears left, celebrated and left and everything. Which, that was cool. And that was after the match, by the way. Um, match 13, it was Ty Conti versus Kylan King. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Ty Conti went over with the DD Ty... Match 14, it was The Dark Order, which are Alex Reynolds, 5, 10, and Colt Cabana versus Dean Alexander, Chandler Hopkins, Will All Day, and Jason Hotch. That was a great match, but the ending to it, The Dark Order went over because 5, because 5, pinned Chandler Hopkins with the Frog Splash. Um, match, yeah. Match 15, it was Jack Evans versus Mike Seidel. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Jack, e Jack Evans went over with the Kamikaze Damashi. Match 16, it was Red Velvet versus Ashley Vox. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Red Velvet went over with the Chef's Kiss. And match 17, which was the main event, it was Pena El Cerro Miedo and Eddie Kingston versus Chaos Project, which are Luther and Serpentico. That was, that was a great match, but the ending to it, Pena El Cerro Miedo and Eddie Kingston went over because Pena El Cerro Miedo pinned Serpentico with the Fear Factor. Now, besides the matches, Britt Baker hosted the waiting room, and her guests were 
Joey Janela, and Sonny Kiss. Well, to recap the whole thing, Rebel done the introduction for Britt Baker. Britt Baker came out. Britt Baker was hyping about AEW coming back on the road, starting with Miami, Florida, and everything. And Britt, Britt Baker also talked about how on August 11th, AEW Dynamite will be in Pittsburgh, and AEW Rampage will make its debut on August 13th in in Pittsburgh and but in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But Britt Baker, instead of calling it Pittsburgh, calling it Britsburg, and everything. And and Britt Baker then introduced her guests Joey Janela and Sonny Kiss. Well, Joey Janela and Sonny Kiss came out, and Britt Baker pretty much let Joey Janela and Sonny Kiss have the floor to themselves. Well, Joey Janela was trying to give Sonny Kiss a hug, but Sonny Kiss pushed Joey Janela down. Well, Sonny Kiss um, was pretty much explaining to Joey Janela that it was him that was there for him through everything, like his high-profile matches and everything. And also, it was him that was there for him, for, for, for him and to know that he, about who, to, to show him, to know who the bad boy Joey Janela really is and everything. And Joey, Jan, Joey Janela was pretty much saying that he knew he was a bad friend and everything and that it wasn't his fault, that it was Alex Marvez's fault. So Joey, Joey Janela introduced Alex Marvez, but Alex Marvez didn't come, didn't come to the show and everything. And Joey Janela got on, got on the, I was acting like he was talking to Alex Marvez on the phone, but Sonny Kiss Went over to went over to Joey Janela, but Joey Janela. But it turned out that Sonny Ki that Joey Janela wasn't on the phone or anything, and then Joey J Joey Janela then took action and was uh, blaming himself for not being a good friend to Sonny Kiss and everything. And Joey Janela was pretty much trying to reason with Sonny Kiss, saying that he didn't want. Uh, he wanted he wants a bad boy summer, not a sad boy summer, and he wanted Sonny Kiss to be a part of the bad boy summer because the fans love them both and everything. And Joey Joey Janela was talking about how he wanted Sonny Kiss to forgive him and everything. And Sonny Sonny Kiss pretty much told Joey Janela that he's gonna turn his back and see and to see if Joey Janela really wants to be his best friend or he wants to not be his best friend and everything and um Sonny Kiss turned his back and Britt Baker was egging Joey Janela on to attack Sonny Kiss but Joey Janela got out a pair of sunglasses and Sonny Kiss turned around and Joey Janela handed Sonny Kiss the um, the pair of sunglasses and Sonny Kiss took them and so Joey Jan Joey Janella and Sonny Kiss embraced with a hug to end the whole interview segment. Well, one thing I did forget to add during that interview segment before the whole interview began, Joey Janella was pretty much putting Britt Baker over saying how he was proud that she was her den that she was his dentist and that he was going to have a better looking mouth and and talk talked about how Britt how Britt Baker was the best professional wrestler today and everything which that whole thing that whole segment was cool was awesome and um and Dasha Gonzalez interviewed the Varsity Blondes 
which are Brian Pillman Jr., Griff Garrison, and Julia Hart. Well, Dasha, well, well, Dasha Gonzalez asked the Varsity Blondes um, about um, about their match against Chad Lennox and Zachariah and everything, and and um, and pretty much asked the Varsity Blondes what was next for them and everything, and Brian Pillman Jr was saying that um, Dustin Rhodes has done a great job in training Chad Lennox and Zachariah at his Rhodes Wrestling Academy and everything, but Brian Pillman Jr. was saying that Chad Lennox and Zachariah came up short and everything, and, and Brian Pillman Jr. was pretty much putting over Julia Hart of saying that she's a two-time champion and cheerleading and everything and Brian Pillman Jr. was asking Griff Garrison his thoughts on on Chad Lennox and Zachariah coming up short against them and everything and Griff Garrison agreed that Chad Lennox and Zachariah came up short against the Varsity Blondes, which are himself and Brian Pillman Jr. But Griff Gar and also Gr Griff Garrison was saying that that uh, that him and Brian Pillman Jr. are gonna keep fighting until they get the AEW tag team titles and everything, which that was cool. Now. Besides all that, Taz and Excalibur done commentary throughout the whole show. They done awesome as usual. Jake the Snake Roberts done guest commentary along with Taz and Excalibur during the match between Lance Archer versus Ryan Mantell. Jake the Snake Roberts done great on guest commentary. And Ricky Starks done guest commentary along with Taz, Taz and Excalibur during the matches of The Factory versus The Hughes Brothers, Abaddon versus Natalia Markova, and Matt Seidel versus Carly Bravo. Ricky Starks done great on guest commentary. The referees for the event were Frank Gastineau, Mike Posey, Paul Turner, Bryce Rimsberg, and Aubrey Edwards. Um, okay. Okay. Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between Lance Archer versus... Ryan Mantell, Paul Turner refereed the match between The Factory versus The Hughes Brothers, Frank Gastineau refereed the match between Abaddon versus Natalia Markova, Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Matt Seidel versus Carly Bravo, Mike Posey refereed the match between The Blade versus Trey Lamar. Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between Bear Bronson versus Big Trouble Bishop. Paul Turner refereed the match between Marco Stunt and Fuego Del Sol versus Baron Black and Ryzen. Frank Gaston... Frank Gastineau refereed the match between Chris Statlander versus Viva Van. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between the Varsity Blondes versus Chad Lennox and Zachariah. Mike Posey refereed the match between Angelico versus 
Prince Kai, Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between Wheeler Yuta versus Ryan Nemeth. Paul Turner refereed the match between The Pinnacle versus Hunter Knott and Rosario Grillo. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Ty Conti versus Kylan King. Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between The Dark Order versus Dean Alexander, Chandler Hopkins, Will All Day, and Jason Hotch. Frank Gast yeah. Frank yeah. Frank Gastineau refereed the match between Jack Evans versus Mike Seidel. Paul Turner refereed the match between Red Velvet versus Ashley Vox. And Mike Posey refereed the match between Pena El Cerro Mieto and Eddie Kingston versus Chaos Project. All the referees done awesome as usual. Now, the match card for tonight's All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dynamite's special event, Road Rager. It's going to be the Young Bucks, which are Matt and Nick Jackson versus Pena El Cerro Mieto and Eddie Kingston in a, in a tag team street fight for the AEW Tag Team Titles. Cody Rhodes versus QT Marshall in a South Beach strap match. The Inner Circle, which are Jake Hager, Santana, and Ortiz versus The Pinnacle, which are Wardlow, Dax Harwood, and Cash Wheeler. Andrade El Idolo versus Matt Seidel. And Orange Cassidy and Chris Statlander versus The Blade and The Bunny. Those are the matches that have been announced. Now, besides the matches... Yeah, yeah, now, now, besides the matches, so far, so far that's been announced, besides the matches, Chris, Chris Jericho and MJF will be having a face-to-face -face confrontation, and Jim Ross will be doing a sit-down interview with Darby Allen and Ethan Page. Now, the match card for AEW Dynamite's Road Rager looks like it's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing it and everything because uh, it looks awesome. Looks like it's going to be an awesome show and everything, and I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here for a while and give them a review for. All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dark from last night, which was July 6th, 2021. Like I said, it was awesome from start to finish. And with that being said, my name is Austin Honaker, and I will catch your ass down the road. Peace out.